about 26,000 Soviet troops stormed into Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan SSR. The troops were supported by tanks and other armored vehicles. They blocked all the major roads and then airborne troops were dropped down on the city from airplanes. This was followed by a naval blockade on the city. The Soviet army was acting according to a state of emergency that was declared by the Soviet Union. All of this happened exactly 22 years ago on January 20th, 1990. This crackdown is better known as Black January. A few hours prior to the Soviet invasion, the KGB blew up the central television station and terminated all the phone and radio lines. This effectively put Baku in an information blockade. Nothing was getting in or out. In the course of the invasion, the Soviet army attacked the civilians and fired into the crowds. They were even firing at ambulances, medical personnel and even a school bus. The shooting continued on for three days and according to official figures 137 people died and between 700 and 800 people were injured. But unofficial estimates put the number of deaths up to 500 people. The state of emergency continued on for about four months. But despite this, almost the entire population of Baku, more than a million people, showed up to the burial of the victims on the third day. For another 40 days, the people stayed away from work in a sign of mourning and mass protests. This massacre was intended as a warning to other independent and freedom movements not only in Azerbaijan but in other republics of the Soviet Union. When the word got out about the massacre in Baku, the other Soviet states, such as Ukraine, Baltics, Georgia, they were all inspired and formed their own independence and freedom movements. So Black January played a key role in the collapse of the Soviet Union. This was our Kaspi report by Mishivan. Thank you.